All right, everybody, Johnny DeMarco here for Boss US, and I want to show you the GT10. We're hanging here in Milwaukee with Kraft Music. Make sure you check out their bundles because you're going to get some cool deals. You can get some accessories for super cheap. All right, now let's talk about the Boss GT10. This is the killer multi effects processor. Now, this is the granddaddy of them all. This is, remember, Boss and Roland use Cosm technology. And this is Cosm Objective Sound Modeling. What that is, is that allows us to take the best amps, the most famous amps, and model them. They analyze them. And then once they analyze them, they put that data into software, and that's what goes on chips. And that's what's in the boxes, all right? Now, what's the beauty of a multi-effects? The beauty of a multi-effects is that no more tap dancing on your pedal board, because all your boss pedals and tons of other famous ones are inside this box, totally modeled and put inside there. Same with all kinds of famous amplifiers, all right? Now, the idea is that I can have one setting like this with distortion, and then in a second, see here, I have a preamp and an EQ on, and in a second, boom, I can be into a nice clean sound with a chorus and a reverb, and a preamp. All right, and same thing, I can switch to another completely different sound. So that's the power of using multi-effects. Um, now let's talk about some of these features. You can see that I get four choices to step on four settings, maybe the verse of my song, chorus, bridge, back to another verse or whatever. Now, what happens when you run out of those? All you gotta do is bank up. I use these two bank buttons to go to a whole nother bank, and then I can jump into those sounds and use all those different sounds. Notice how all the lights keep changing as I keep going. These automatically tell you what effects are on in the patch. Everything's very, uh, the operating system is designed to be simple, so you can see what's happening very quickly. Let me give you an example of that. I'm gonna go into my display mode. Notice. I can see in big lettering what's happening. If I gotta make a quick adjustment at a band practice, oh hey, it sounds a little bit different going through this amp. You know what, I'm gonna boost my lows just a little, boom, done. I don't have to go into a bunch of menus and get all complicated and hold up the whole band. <laughs> so it's just a matter of reaching down and spinning a knob. All right, let's keep going through some of the different uh, screens. Here, we can page through all kinds of different amp models for the same patch and pick what we're looking for. It's taking us through all the different famous amplifiers. You can see that happening there? Yeah. Okay, it goes on and on and on. This has the most amp models out of any one of our units. All right, look at all that, still going. Okay, now I can go to a different screen that shows us uh, the pathway uh, of certain modes that we're using. And I can make adjustments with these knobs right here. I'm gonna keep going. This shows us uh, what types of effects and features we have assigned to the control pedals and the expression pedal. Okay, notice right here, it says A and B. So when I press this, notice A and B lights. That's a dual channel. This piece uh, can ha have a completely different channel of an amplifier change, all right? Now, on my control two pedal, I kick that on, and that brings in my chorus. It's set for chorus, okay? And I can make little quick settings like this, all right? And then it'll eventually go back, yep. Like that. Now, here we have my expression pedal. Always defaults as a volume pedal. Uh, when you press the toe switch down, you're going to get uh, uh, the wah pedal. But remember, the whole 
beauty of digital uh, guitar system and the GT10 being multi-effects is that I can assign anything to this pedal. I can not only have that be a chorus, I can make that a, a, a compressor, an overdrive, uh, a certain type of preamp. I could be in a uh, Fender model and bam, hit that button and be into a Roland JC120. All right, so I can go into my effects banks and I can assign some of our different effects to this. So it's almost like a mixing board where we're able to draw a signal to whatever controller we want, okay? I can even make my expression pedal turn on the delay or bleed in the delay. There's so much on here. We could spend a good hour talking about just this thing and just features. So I just want to give you the a cool overview of things. Remember, all this stuff just gives you the maximum possibilities. There's all kinds of routing options. As I continue through my mode display, uh, I'm going to get uh, different effects to choose. I'm notice that different uh, screens. There we go. Okay. Now, this screen is cool because what's happening is, is there's something called manual mode. Manual mode allows me to stay on one patch and just hit my control button and it brings up a menu like this that shows me, wow, now this is my overdrive and distortion. Okay, this one is now bringing in my chorus. This one's bringing in my effects bank number one. Here we go bringing in effects bank number two, and so on and so on with the other controllers. Uh, this is powerful because it turns one patch into a whole boss stop box pedal board. <laughs> um, very cool system. This allows me to not have to worry about tap dancing on those pedal boards. I can do that here if I want, or I can use the multi uh, locations by switching through my locations or my banks. All right, now let's continue. Uh, this channel goes, uh, or this screen shows us that uh, we can change the order of the effects, which is important. Uh, certain effects should kind of belong in a certain order. You want to have your compressors first, you know, your, maybe your wah pedal into your compressor. Uh, you're not going to want to have your delay necessarily in front of your distortion. So there's some rules that uh, do apply here, but they can all be broken. But again, certain things sound better. So uh, boss lines them up for you in what they like. But if you want to go in and create your own system, you got access to that. Just as if you were going to unplug a cable and go into a different pedal and, and turn this pedal over here and switch it around. So you've got that capability with this piece. And this is my favorite screen, the big screen. And I can see everything real far. I could be all the way across the stage and see what patch I'm on. Here's a crunch with a phaser. Okay, next one we have an MS riff. Check this one out. Alright guys, I'm Johnny DeMarco and I just wanted to show you the Boss GT10. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm hanging with my friends here at Craft Music in Milwaukee. Make sure you check out their bundles because they got some great deals on accessories. Alright, thanks for watching it and we're going to rock out of here. Peace.